Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered through all four corners of this earth. This is Bayan back again. Through the Spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. And I just want to get into a few scriptures, pretty much showing how you heathen, starting with you, Esau, Edom, the so called white man, how you're going to be going into captivity, man. You know, you really think after everything that you've done to the so called Negro, Latino, and Native American, that you're going to just ride off into the sunset? No, man. You and the other nations that are in confederate with you are going to have to go into captivity too, man. It will only be righteous for that to be. You see? And after a thousand years, Esau, Edom, you're going to be going extinct. Thus says the scriptures. So the first scripture I want to get into was the book of Isaiah, the 14th chapter, starting from the top, and it reads, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. Right, because ultimately all of Israel is going to be saved. But this time around, it's only going to be the elect. But ultimately, through the loins of the elect, all of Israel will be born back into the kingdom. Continuing on. And set them in their own land. Right, which would be the land of uh, Jerusalem. Huh? You see, that's going to be the, the, the hub, you know, for... for <laughs> pretty much where the royalty is going to reside at and we're going to pretty much expand out from there and the strangers well, which are the um, the Israelite foreigners shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob and the people shall take them and bring them to their place and this is talking about you heathen. Starting with you Esau Edom, the so-called white man. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And what's a servant and what's a handmaid? A servant is a bond man and a handmaid is a bond woman, man. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. <laughs> you see that? And they shall rule over them, Salakia. And they shall rule over their oppressors. You see that? And we're going to rule over you devils with a rod of iron, man. It ain't going to be a, you know, a, a, a smooth transition. Uh, into captivity for you, for you heathen, man. Huh? And we're gonna beat the shit out of y'all in the kingdom, man. Huh? You know, scripture says, you know, that we're gonna we're gonna meditate on terror, man. Huh? And it's all gonna be it's all gonna be righteous in the eyes of the Lord. It's gonna be righteous judge, righteous recompense, man. Huh? You see? You know, let's get Revelations, the second chapter, real quick. Yeah, man, because after everything y'all done, you know, to us so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you, you're not going to just get off scot-free, you know, push the, push the reset button, and, and just go on to... To afflict the children of Israel, man. You know, scripture also says, uh, 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 affliction shall not 
rise up a second time, roughly paraphrasing. I believe that's in the, the book of Nahum, the first chapter. You know, it's not going down like that, Esau. You're deceiving yourself. Um, let's see, Revelations, the second chapter. And I'll start at the 25th verse. Verse 27 is my point. The book of Revelations, the second chapter, and the 25th verse, and it reads, But that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. And this is Yahweh Shai speaking, man. This is written in blood, man. You see, it's in red text. And what are we supposed to hold fast to? This knowledge, man. This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We got to hold fast to whatever we got, you know. For those of us that, you know, been in here for a short period of time like myself. And for those of us that have been in here for years, man. We got to hold fast to what we have, man. Until the Lord come. You see? Verse 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, see? To him will I give power over the nations. Ooh. And what, what is that going to incorporate? Verse 27. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And what are we going to be doing with that rod of iron? Abba rod is that what part of that precious elk? As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers. Even as I received of my father. So as you can see. You heathen are going to be getting beat to shivers man. Those of you that are disobedient and don't listen man. You know. You know you devils. You know starting with Esau eating the so called white man. Y'all beat our nationality out of us man. You see. We're going to beat your nationality into you. You're not going to be calling yourself um, Jews or or Russians or, or, or goddamn Australians, man. You, no, you're going to remember that you are the Edomites, man. Because we're going to beat your nationality into you. You see? And your day's coming, man. And we can see it. You know, those of us in this truth, we can see it, man. Because uh, uh, America's falling apart, man. Um, the world is in turmoil, man. You, you, Jacob's trouble, you can see it coming. If you have spiritual eyes to see, you know, if, you, if you're seeing with, you know, with spiritual lenses, you can see that that day's coming. It's close. That day of the Lord is near upon the heathen. It's right around the corner. Let's get that in Obadiah. It's right around the corner for y'all, man. Uh, let's see, is it 15? So back here. Yeah, verse 15. Now 16. Now I'll start at 15. The book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 15, and it reads, For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. You see that? So, huh, you so-called Chinese. You starting with you so-called white people. You know? Starting with you, you pretty you know, starting with you elites. You know, of all of all your nations, of all you heathen nations, you see, starting with the elites of y'all, you know, you international banking families, you know, those of you that run this world, man, trickling all the way down to the regular Joe six pack, man. You see, so-called uh, Hawaiians, you so-called um, Japanese, you know. So-called Chinese, you see, the day of the Lord 
is near upon you, man. And there's no escape. And we understand that there's gonna be, you know, uh, speckle birds, you know, within within all nations, because we've been scattered, you know. So we do understand that there are gonna be uh, a confu uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A confusion of faces, I guess, you know, for lack of better words. But that's gonna be determined by you being able to receive this this doctrine, man, this gospel. You see? Because your spirit will bear witness with the spirit that you're a child in the Most High, man. You know, but for the majority, it's not going to be so. You see? For the majority, it's not going to be so. Continuing on. As though, Salakia, so like as thou has done, it should be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. When what have y'all heathen done, man? Y'all been in confederacy against the nation, against the children of Israel, man. Y'all done everything to continue to keep us down and, you know, keep us oppressed. You know, that's why there's a Chinatown in, 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 in your, uh, in your city, man. There's a Chinatown all over America, man. Why is that? Because they're joined at the hip with this devil, man. You know? And you got what? You got Elam all through the all through the hood. You know? Or or everywhere where Jake resides at. You see, you got these what are these other you know heathens that come over here from their country and they get cut a check, man. But then again, Jake Jake hasn't even got paid reparations for the monstrosities that was done, you know, to the so-called Negroes, man, and the so-called uh, Native Americans for that matter, and the so-called Latinos. No reparation has been paid, man. Not that, not that it would, um, you know, rectify what was done. Because how the Lord works is blood for blood, man. You see, if you shed someone's blood, your blood going to be shed, man. And that's just righteous in the eyes of the Lord. We're continuing on. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yeah, they shall drink and they shall swallow down. And they shall be as though they had not been. And what are y'all going to drink? Y'all going to drink that cup of affliction. That cup of oppression. That cup of slavery, man. And it ain't like you can, you know, and push the cup away and, and, and not decide. See, if you try to pull that, that's when that rod of iron is going to come into play, man. You see? That's when the rod of iron is going to come into play. Because recompense, righteous recompense is the way the Lord works, man. There's no getting out of it. Let's get uh, Jeremiah to prove that. Jeremiah, the 30th chapter. I'll get straight to the point. Uh, the 16th verse. And it reads, Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. And all thine adversaries Every one of them shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. You see that? Huh. 
The hunters are going to become the hunted. Starting with you devils, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, man. Y'all going to become the prey. You see? We're going to spoil you. You know? Your men, your men, women, and children, all you heathen are going to be going to captivity, man. And it's going to be a, a, a rigorous thousand years. Thus says the scriptures, man. A rigorous thousand. And it's all going to be in righteousness, man. You know, let me get one more scripture and I'm going to close out. If the Spirit allows it. 2 Thessalonians. The first chapter. And I'm going to start. So I can... 2 Thessalonians, yeah, I want you. This is what I want. Um, I'm just seeing if I should start up. Um, I'm going to get straight to the point. 2 Thessalonians, the first chapter, and it says, verse and it reads Seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation and recompense goes into payback revenge you see tribulation trouble repay trouble to them that trouble you and that's going into the nation of Israel you know the Lord says it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. You see? So that's that's it, man. You know, that's the point. You know, you, you heathen are going into captivity for a thousand years. It's going to be a rigor, rigorous rule in righteousness and <laughs> there's nothing you can do to get out of it. Just like how there was nothing we could do to get out of our captivity that we're still subject to at this very moment. You see? Because where the word of, where the word of a king is, there's power. And not one of you nations can disannul the word of the highest power conceivable in his only begotten son. You will be met head on by a demon like power. Allah Shadia. You see? <laughs> no one can escape his hand, man. You know, you heathen nations stand with Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Are going to have to pay for everything that you've done to the children of Israel. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and then Americans. But now that's the point. Um, just pretty much just wanted to get that, you know, get that out there. You know, do the spirit. You know, Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwath were edified. Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Kal Halalim La Yahawa, Bahashem Yahawa Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, Shalawam Akiyam. <laughs>